for this. Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, again, as I mentioned, when you guys are trying to identify the common term, we do not need to find the common ratio for every single, between every single two terms. Just do A2 over A1. So R equals A2 over A1. And guess what? I don't need to do anything with fractions. Now I see if I reduce this, and this becomes a negative 1 fourth. So my ratio is a fraction. Now, however, we do want to make sure that fraction remains consistent. So does it make sense if I multiply negative? Now remember, multiplying by negative 1 fourth is the same thing as like dividing by negative 4, right? So if do I do negative 12 divided by negative 4, does that give me 3? Yes. yes. Now, it might be hard for you guys to think of dividing by fractions. So let's think of multiplying. Is 3 times negative 1 fourth equal to negative 3 fourths? Yes. Negative 3 fourths times negative 1 fourth. Remember, when you multiply fraction, you just multiply across. That becomes a positive 3 sixteenths. So guess what? The common ratio is consistent between all the terms. So this is a geometric sequence with a common ratio of negative 1 fourth. Notice how the terms are getting smaller and smaller, right? So it has to be the ratio.